Hi guys, we are back. So today we are gonna be doing a single perfume review. This is the perfume that I picked up yesterday. I have been in love with this perfume, this particular perfume, since I smelled it. It was like love at first whiff, but there's also something where I'm like, this is, I had to wait for the right moment. Um, there had to be like an inspiration to strike before I bought this perfume. So the perfume house is Mason Crivelli and the perfume is Rose Saltifolia. This is one of the most amazing clean rose, salty rose scents I've ever smelled. It's like, I was describing to my sister, like if heaven had a scent, I feel like it would be this smell. Um, it is just such a beautiful, clean, crisp, like it almost reminds me of being on the water like on the ocean and it's like a single pretty rose just washes ashore it's just the most amazing fragrance ever it's very much like a kind of like a stormy scented ocean it's not like um there's nothing like tropical about this there's nothing that reminds me of like a tropical vacation it's not that type of fragrance it's more of kind of like a I envision you're on like a boat somewhere and it's kind of stormy and the water is like you know splashing overboard picturesque moment where it's just beautiful kind of like just truly salty like it's just this really really clean like ozonic like there's it's almost like the smell of lightning like you know that smell where it's like that ozone scent um, it smells kind of like that in my opinion um, Mason Crivelli came out with fragrance in 2019 so it is a newer house and what I love about Mason Crivelli is it's so unique like every single scent every single perfume in the house is just extremely unique and he really wanted it to be this like experience where you're experiencing his experience when he first smelled that note so everything's blended to be you know a little bit more complex even though it is kind of a single note like this is rose this doesn't smell like any other rose out there and that's what i love about this so for me i do love florals i do love roses this one's going to quickly become a favorite i could see myself wearing this as a signature i could wear this all summer it's perfect for running errands it's not too heavy you cannot overspray it so we're actually going to wear this today. This is going to be the scent of the day. So we're going to go ahead and get this saturated. I'm doing three sprays on my arm. I'm going to do two sprays behind the ears, one behind each ear. And then since I am wearing a dress, I'm going to do one on the back of each uh, kneecap. So you just spray it right down here because that's where the heat tends to waft it up it's just really pleasant um and this is just oh my gosh it smells so good like i just feel like it smells so clean and it just smells kind of like the salty beach like i had just gotten out of the beach out of the water and i'm kind of like towel drying my hair and it has that like salty texture to it and it's this effortless beauty um in my opinion this smells just effortlessly beautiful and so i'm excited to wear this today um a little bit more about the perfume it comes in a very simple bottle which i love it's very simple very clean it says mason crivelli at the bottom this one is i want to say this is 100 ml this is 3.4 fluid ounces 100 ml um and then you do have a really pretty cap with the detail on it and i just love 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 how it looks very clean so I think if you love like marine scents, if you love very clean, very fresh, very crisp scents, and you kind of like that aquatic, like that seaside, maybe you're into like the Tom Ford, um, I mean they're so different, but like Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc, you're into like those kind of like beachy, nostalgic beachy vibes, um, I would try this one out. This one I would say is a semi-safe blind buy, you really, really have to like oceanic scents you have to like that marine scent you have to like like kind of like the seaweed notes the um salty notes you have to really like enjoy those type of scents to really love this experience but i think all in all it is like such a 
Ugh, like, so there's a, a specific place that we go. It's called Kiwa Island, and this actually smells kind of like the island. Um, it also kind of smells like a gym I used to work for. It's just such a clean, crisp scent. It has, it evokes such good memories for me. So as soon as I smelled it, I connected with it, and I knew I had to have it um, when the timing was right, which now it is. You know, it's starting to become very, very warm outside. It's definitely you know spring summer right around the corner it's starting to get hot and humid and this is like the perfect scent for that it plays really well in the humidity so i cannot wait to wear this more i cannot wait to talk about this one more um i did talk about it in my review or it was the um recent video that I did um, talking about spring summer scents because I just knew that I had to get this one for spring summer. It's just seriously so good. So um, if you guys have tried it, let me know not in the comments. If you haven't tried it, um, maybe see if you can get one of the discovery sets on the website. It is fantastic. I promise if you love like that true marine, um, slightly floral scent that dries down to more of like a pretty salty rose it kind of like the salt kind of burns up within like the first two hours and then it starts to dry down to this really just elegant pretty fresh rose so if that sounds like you give it a try thanks for being here and i'll see you guys in the next video